Uh, one uh, important and nice application of super resolution imaging is the analysis of clusters of proteins in the membrane of cells. Uh, proteins are supposed to cluster after they receive some kind of stimulation for improving probably the signaling effect. effect. Um, these clusters are too small to see in any other kind of technique, so super resolution is great for it because it has the, just about the size of, of them. Uh, for example, this is one cell in which we have image clusters in the membrane of a specific receptor, and we can already see the dotty structure, uh, which are the clusters, and if we zoom in, it becomes really clear how the class, how the proteins are not randomly distributed, but they are actually distributed in little clusters. Uh, and we can also even see some monomers of proteins that are not in clusters and they are just laying around, which is something that we would never ever see without super resolution. Uh, once we have these images, we can uh, analyze each one of the clusters and see the distribution of how many proteins they have inside, uh, if they have a specific area always or the areas are completely random and stuff like that.